Well guys, this is it. Just pulled her out of the garage for the new owner that is supposed to arrive. And uh, well, I guess we'll see. As you guys know, uh, first of all, good morning guys. It's a beautiful morning today. Not a cloud in sight. Okay, you got a little bit like right over there. But uh, today's the day this thing is leaving, supposedly. So I just, you know, I wanted to come out here. I pulled out of the garage for him, got him ready. Cleaned it up for him. I mean, she was kind of already clean, but still a little wipe down for him. But this might be it, guys. So uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how. I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna take it. You know, I, I, I'm okay right now because I still physically see it and it's here. But I think when he actually leaves and drives off, it might actually hit me. So let's just take a moment of silence here, just to you know remember her and look at her. gotta say guys if it actually leaves it's probably going to be a very sad sad day here for me uh on this good old friday afternoon actually it's morning time but good old friday morning I hear him guys oh he brought his duramax today so this is the duramax right here that he's uh he wants to sell oh and it's got a train horn on it so uh this thing's pretty nice oh well, look at that see he's a, there's a, these are the tires i'm gonna begin right there and also if you guys are into vaping he owns uh, Deluxe Vapes, actually. What's going on? Man, this is the truck, huh? Yep. Never actually seen it. How you doing, man? This thing's nice. So is this the one you're selling, right? Yep. Okay. Real quick, guys. I know you want to uh, figure out what's going on with the truck, but can you give us a little walk-around tour of this thing? Yeah. Real uh, quick. How you doing, man? I'm Eddie. Matt. You might be on YouTube. <laughs> okay. 2007 and a half. 2007 and a half. So real quick, is this the LMM? Yes. Okay. Because they, I know they like switched it right then and there. It's got oh. the 17 inch methods, 35 inch Toyo MTs, brand new. Yeah, they look fresh. Got the amp research steps with the lights. Uh, it's got the train horns that you heard. Uh, all the emblems are <clears throat> aftermarket blackout. Got the front end wrapped. Uh, it's got the PPI tuner by Corey with the DSP-5 switch. Nice. Intake, uh, turbo back exhaust, CST lift. Looks good, man, looks good. So, did it, it didn't come with tow mirrors? No, I actually like it that way. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I didn't even think they gave you an option. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, and uh, what model is this? Uh, it's the LT, but I I did the cat skins, leather interior, and then it has a center console like the LTZ. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, yeah, you got the display up there. What do you got, a little fuel tank back here? Or? Nah, just the toolbox for the toolbox. compressor and tools. Okay, all right, nice. You got a what, four inch? Yeah. Okay. New bumper. So, uh, if you want to let everybody know, what are you asking for this thing? I'm asking 28.9. 28.9. Okay. OBO. OBO. Okay. Do you want anybody to email you if they're interested, or DM you, or? Yeah. Um, my Instagram is Rob, R O B Black 76, and then my email is Robert dot Rodriguez R O D R I G U E Z seven at Gmail dot com. All right, guys. So if you are interested, uh, DM him or email him. Uh, he'll give you more updates on, you know, mileage, how it's run, uh, more pictures if you guys want. I just want to do a quick clip and let you guys know that this thing is uh, for sale. All right, guys, we have arrived. So, uh, well, I guess let's go uh, get this done. You ready? You sure? Positive. You sure? God damn it. This guy's not letting it go. 
Hey guys, it is official, it's done. I got the money, he gets the keys. There you go, sir. Uh, thank you, Jonathan, that's Jonathan right You're there. Welcome. He took care of us, uh, so if you guys do have any, uh, I don't know, auto loans you wanna deal with here at Mission Fed, talk to Jonathan. Anytime. Congrats, brother. Thank you. It feels weird saying, uh, hey Robert, can I get in your truck, man? Can you give me can you give uh, me a ride back home? home? Yeah, can you give me a ride back home? I don't got no ride, man. Dude, oh, we gave him a ride too. I'm kind of screwed. I'm, I gotta sit in my passenger seat now over here. Damn. Well, uh, I guess for you guys that are uh, DMing me and uh, are questioning me about the truck, it's not mine. It's officially uh, Robert's, it's gone. So I guess, uh, well, if you guys want to continue to follow uh, this truck and to see what he's going to do to it, I guess go follow uh, Robert's Instagram. I feel so weird sitting over here in the passenger seat. I feel like something's wrong over here. <laughs> but go uh, follow his Instagram, uh, Robert's. I'm sure he's going to do some stuff to it. He likes also the uh, 18s better than the 20s. I think that's what you said, right? Yes, sir. So he's probably going to uh, put some new 18s on it. I don't know, maybe lift it 14 inches on some 44s, you know. No. Who knows? <laughs> But uh, now, you know, with him purchasing the truck, he is my best friend uh, because he's got my baby. So I'm gonna call him probably four times a day to check on it. Uh, that was all in the contract. You know, we made an agreement, uh, sign our attorneys, you know, had to write everything. Pretty much saying that, you know, he cannot neglect me if I call and ask and wonder about the truck. He has to respond back, you know, within two minutes. So you didn't forget about that, right? You got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect, perfect. Never gonna hear back from the guy, probably. <laughs> Never gonna see him or hear anything. <laughs> Do you got a razor blade? Um, for those stickers, I don't. You know, I just ran out of all my razor <laughs> blades. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Should I give him a razor blade, or should I make him drive all the way back to El Centro? I don't know. I think I'm gonna make him drive all the way back. <laughs> Shuck, sorry, man. I just ran out of razor blades. This is the truck, guys. That is for sale. I let you uh, listen to this. This truck also has the his tune. Uh, on instead of the rumble tune as you guys know you can switch the tunes between hiss and rumble whatever you guys want all you gotta do is contact Corey or email them at PPEI and they will switch the tunes for you depending on what you want at idle thank you sir enjoy the truck I'll be checking on her and you all right man it's nice meeting you too you guys uh, have a safe trip this is it guys she's leaving man ah, I don't think it's it I don't think it hasn't hit me. I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm speech. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm just, uh, uh, come on, Ram. Hurry up and get here, please. So I have a truck. Now I am officially truckless, guys. I got no truck right now. I don't know what he's doing over here. I would suggest you, there you go. All right, he figured it out. I would suggest him go all the way back. For, okay, no, he's not going to let him. Robert's not going to let him. <laughs> Dude. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Let him go back and then you can make the turn. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let him go all the way. There you go. There we go. <laughs> so, see why guys told that when he goes back, he can pull forward. Robert can back up and pull right out. There you go. It wasn't your fault, man. Good job. Trying to soak it all in. I'm trying to soak it all in. I can't. Shut up. Shut up. I'm, I'm mad right now. Don't bark at me. Shh, don't, you bark at me. I just lost my truck. Don't. don't. You barking at me. <laughs> guys, I got a phone call. It is, you guys have heard of him, the Dirty Max Jack. If you haven't heard of him, go subscribe to his channel. You probably already are subscribed to the channel. Jack, are you there, Jack? Yes, yes. Hello, Eddie and Eddie's YouTube channel. Okay, so. The reason why I called, I had a question, and I mean, you know, I put everything on YouTube. I don't want to hide anything from my subscribers or nothing. We know you're a very transparent individual, Eddie. Yes. So, why, and why I called, and I know, no, I did not call to regret of me ordering the Ram, like you said. <laughs> I, I called because I want your honest opinion. How do you like, how are you liking your 2020 Duramax? And guys, if you haven't seen his channel or his video, he actually just got the 2020 Duramax, so go check it out. But how do you like it? Tell me about the drive. 
Yeah, it, it, it's terrible. <laughs> I have a feeling is he's full like of it. Is that, was that expected? I, I don't know. I don't know. What, was that on left field? That, no, that was perfect. Yeah, that's what I told you to say. So you're good. So you see, guys, that's why I had to get the ram. <laughs> but on a serious note, I mean, look, man, I wish GM was putting money in my pocket to tell everybody that this thing isn't as bad as they think that it is, but they're not. I'm giving you an honest opinion in the sense that this truck is awesome. I, I, I love it. Dude, I, you know, obviously, like, I'm kind of privy to the General Motors brand just for, like, personal vehicles. I love to bring different vehicles onto my channel to experiment, create content with. Um, you know, but but they really changed a lot from from an ownership perspective on this truck. And you, you really kind of need to just see one in person um, and get behind the wheel and drive one to truly create, like, a holistic opinion. Well, or somebody just attacks the mirrors or the... The bicycle reflectors and the fenders, like all those little things I get. But, you know, can I say that I love the mirrors? No, I can't. But that's just me being honest. But yeah. can I say that this truck has a lot of potential, like I've demonstrated through previous videos that I just recently uploaded? Absolutely. Uh, so so I, I, I kind of find it, like, exciting that everyone's looking at, oh, well, Here's a 2020 and it's so ugly, but what can somebody do to it to make it look really good? Correct. I kind of look at that as an opportunity. Uh, what I want to know <clears throat> is what are you? What do you think of the 10 speed? That's that's my whole thing. Is I want to know how are you liking that? Have you noticed better gas mileage? Have you noticed any more torque from you know first? Because according to GM, that truck has a 342 gear ratio, and your one-to-one -one gear is seventh gear. So I'm wondering is pretty much, does it feel like it's got more power? Does it shift smooth? How are you reacting to the 10-speed? So I'm going to make a whole video on that. So I don't want to okay. really compromise the question, but fair I'm enough. Fair enough. to answering the question that it's kosher, dude. Okay. It's, I really, look, put it this way. Um, I got to interact with the 10-speed for about 850 miles uh, on my drive home from St. Louis to back to Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, and in that time, I saw fuel economy numbers that I didn't even think would exist on trucks that were completely stock. Wow. Okay. And, and, and just to add into just the in improved driving feel, like suspension, is is buttery smooth and, and I'll probably be the one to screw that up because I'm going to try and fit my <laughs> wheels on a truck. But to the average guy or gal that's going to get this thing, um, it, it you really feel like you own the road. Uh, the space on the cabin is, is wonderful. I'm happy, man. I'm well, really well, yeah, happy. we're we're gonna we're gonna keep it at that. I don't want you to give too much info uh, on on the channel yet. So, just if you guys want more info, subscribe to him. So, pretty much at the end of the day. <laughs> You did not call me. I appreciate it, man. No, no problem. But at the end of the day, you did not call me to let me know that I won the truck, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. For for the record, you are not taking home the LML only because, well, the the, the drawing hasn't been conducted by the sweepstakes company yet. So okay. I mean, at this point, like, really, anything's kind of possible, but only time will tell. Did you get entered for it? So, oh yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. So, my next question is: So, you're saying there's still a chance? Well, I guess I guess that's solely upon your discretion, my sir. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget, guys. Uh, Jack is giving away his LML, so if you guys are interested, go uh, to his website, and uh, he's got more info on his channel. But he is giving away a beautiful truck, so you guys. Uh, well, I mean, you don't want to miss out. Well, I gotta say, guys, uh, we do miss Jack out there. Jack did come out here. We hung out, uh, rode some motorcycles. It was a great time. So we do miss Jack. Haven't seen him in a while. But uh, go subscribe to his channel. He does have the new 2020 and it's beautiful. I gotta say, it is nice. But uh, it's official guys, your truck is gone. I am truckless, I got no truck. So hopefully, um, I don't even know what I'm gonna record for you guys now. You guys might not hear from me for like weeks until my new one comes in. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.